Welcome back. The topic of discussion this morning is Texas A&M's 2015 signing class, but that's not all that's new with the Aggies. Yes, you're welcoming a fresh crop of players in as well, but Coach Sumlin, he's got some new additions to his staff as well, and we've got one of them on set with us right now. We welcome in Dave Christensen, who is our new offensive line coach, and he is the run game coordinator. He comes to Texas A&M from Utah. And coach, before we start with the line of question, and good to have you in Aggieland. Thanks for taking the time to join well, us. Well, thank morning. you. It's uh, it's great to be here. Uh, you know what a great uh, commitment to, to excellence and uh, opportunity to be at a place that's one of the premier uh, programs in the country. Yeah, and and if you look at the, the research on you, uh, you went to Utah last year. Prior to your time with the Utes, they ranked 71st in the country in the run game. In your one season with them, they bumped up to 39th. What, what do you look at as the keys for the improvement in Salt Lake City? Well, uh, you know, we had a great tailback, you know, a big physical runner uh, that, that ran extremely hard for us. So the offensive line uh, 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 matured, played well. They were physical, um, and, and so I think those two things combined with uh, a few schematic changes uh, gave us a chance to have some success around the football. Also, in the past, 2009 to 2013, you have had coaching experience. You ran the program at the University of Wyoming. What do you take with you from that time that still is implied today as you will now be the offensive line coach and run game coordinator here? Well, I, I was still very involved in the offense there, uh, particularly my last year. I, I took uh, over the play calling duties and, and, and spent more time with the offense. So I didn't really get away from, uh, you know, the schematic part of things. Uh, certainly the first couple of years uh, when I had all the head coaching uh, duties, I did. But, uh, you know, it's nice to, to be in this position and, 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 and let Coach Sumlin have all those worries and I get to coach again. So uh, <laughs> I'm excited about it. Uh, you know, being on the field last year, uh, coaching again, uh, you know, full time was great. And uh, now to have an opportunity to do it at uh, a place where we have, you know, some of the best players in the country and a program that uh, is one of the, the elite in the country. Uh, it's, it's very exciting. Now one thing, uh, just after Christmas, uh, you attended the Liberty Bowl just as an observer to see mm -hmm. the Aggies in their win over West Virginia in the postseason. What are some things you took away from that day? Well, there's a, a lot of talent. Uh, you know, I, I particularly was you know, looking at those offensive linemen and uh, uh, you know, the size and, and skill level of those guys. Uh, you know, it was really exciting to me to have an opportunity to coach those uh, uh, level of players. Uh, I thought that, uh, you know, from an athletic standpoint, uh, you know, very athletic football team. And, uh, you know, I think, uh, you know, the potential is great here. And, and you've met with the offensive line. Not a lot of new coaches get to do that right away because you hit the ground recruiting right. usually. But you've gotten to meet with the offensive line a little bit. And what is kind of the initial message you wanted to send to that group of guys in your first meeting? Well, you know, I, I did. I stayed in that uh, first day they were back. I stayed off the road. I thought it was important that, uh, you know, I got a chance to, to sit down with them and, and kind of lay down the groundwork of my expectations for them and uh, what the philosophy of that room is going to be. And, uh, you know, th these guys were very engaged, uh, you know, just uh, a great group of young men that are eager to learn and uh, that want to be successful on the football field. And uh, you've got a, two, a couple of new ones joining you because this signing class at the moment has two on the offensive line. One of those is Eric McCoy out of Lufkin, Texas. And I think something that stands out about him is maybe not on the field. This is a guy who's top 10% in his class academically. And that seems to always please a coach when you hear that about a young man. Well, it's uh, it's important. I mean, uh, you, you've got to be smart. Uh, it's it's one of the things that uh, you know I talk to these kids you know, in recruiting. You know, we want guys that are smart to play up front. There's a lot of things going on. They happen quick. You got to make uh, you know quick adjustments uh, on the run, and, and and so you know it's important that you have guys that can understand these schemes and uh, and understand what we're trying to do to exploit a defense. And so it's important that we have guys that uh, you know are smart up front. Connor Lanfear is in as well. Uh, what do you see in him, this big-bodied young man? <laughs> <laughs> well, he, you know, he's a very uh, physical player, and uh, and that's what we want. We want guys that uh, are extremely physical, that finish blocks, and uh, and he certainly uh, did a great job with that uh, as a high school football player. And then one of the guys, uh, I think it's very interesting, his story is Jermaine Effetti because he did choose to return to Texas A&M for his senior year been a staple on the offensive line for quite some time and like we said you have met with the O-line yep. 
have you gotten some conversations with Jermaine and, and, and kind of checked out what his hopes are for, for this yeah, year? Yeah, you know, I, you know it's, it's great that, uh, you know, we, we, we call him GI, that GI wanted to come back <laughs> yeah, uh, and, and, and play another year with us. Uh, you know, he certainly has the potential to be a very high uh, draft pick. Uh, you know, our goals right now is that, uh, you know, he has a, a, a great season next year that, you know, we'd like him to be an all-conference player, an all-American player. Uh, he's very driven, he's very focused, very goal-oriented, and uh, is, is really willing to do whatever it takes to become a great player. Well, Coach, we certainly appreciate the time on this busy morning, and it's great to have you here at Texas A&M. Well, it's great to be here. Thanks for having me. All right, that's Dave Christensen, our new offensive line coach here at Texas A&M, and he is in charge of the run game as well.